Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bashem Al Washai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Washai is the true name of his only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who definitely rule well, and who have taught us the 100 percent truth of the scriptures, and honors and citations to the elect document doing these works in season out of season, week in, week out, sincerity and in truth. So I just want to um, land back, you know, spiritual two cents to the beloved Elder Apostle Gabar. Um, I was watching a video he did on on uh, Nate Nathaniel with the IUIC. And now how he uh, he was in that interview and he. You know, was, uh, he pretty much said that uh, he knows that the name is Yahweh Shai or. Yeshua, Yeshua or Yeshua, you could call him. You know, the apostle going into how he's, you know, double being double-minded. Pretty much, you know, the spirit came upon me to uh, do this lesson to where, like, if you can, if you can see, uh, 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 um, if you could see it, man, if you could see the light, you could see the truth, just <laughs> make your way up out of there, man. Because it's like, I, I was, I'm like meditating myself, like, yo, how can you not see it? How can you not see that the Lord ain't dealing with this guy right now like that? Yeah, the doors of repentance is, is still open. Mercy, the doors of mercy is still open. We don't know what could happen. But as of right now, that's, that's not the guy to follow. And I'm thinking, yo, how can you not see that, man? Well, let me get my first scripture. Is because the Lord have truly blinded them. That's why they can't see it. Not everybody's gonna be able to see it, man. So if you, you know, you know, you in that class and you can see it, you know, you looking around, and and the rest of your, your the rest of your uh, fellows, for lack of better words, just can't see it. That's because the Lord blinded them, but He blessed you to be able to see. And one more thing before I get this scripture, because we all remember, man, clear as day. I know every one of us remember when Nate was making fun of the names. He wrote the name down backwards on a stone. Like, oh, my gosh, brothers, look what I found. It says, you, 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 you know, straight making fun of the name, yo. And and then and then and then and then his uh his underling said. Does this mean we have to join the bum camp? <laughs> no, no. We don't have to join the bum camp, though. So, you know, come on, man. Now he's sitting here saying we know that the true name is Yahweh Shai? What did I miss? Was there a, an apology video that I missed? That you apologized for making fun of the, the name of the Lord? And now you've come to light? That, that this is the true name, but you already knew it was the true name when you first came in. So you knew it was the true name, you taught it, and then you made fun of it. And then he said, I scorn. I scorn every time I hear somebody say the name Yahweh. You know, and I believe he said it just like that. I scorn. The video probably still out there. I scorn when I hear somebody jump up and say Yahweh. But now he's turning around and teaching, oh, yeah, but the true name is Yahweh Shai. We know that. Or you could say Yehoshua. So I'm sitting here like, man, how can you not see it, man? How can you not see that the Lord is just not dealing with this guy right now? But Romans 11 and 7 says, what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for? Because, yeah, us as Israelites... We seeking for the truth. We seeking for that rest. For that pure, real rest. Okay. And it says, but the election hath obtained it. Yeah, like the scripture in the book of Jeremiah speaks upon the rest. Walking this way for this rest for your souls. Okay, our people will ultimately remember 
And Jeremiah also says that we were planted a noble vine, holy, a right seed. How then art thou turned into a strange vine unto me? You know, uh, uh, degenerates. So it's really in our people's spirit to uh, uh, be at peace, to want peace. Yahweh Shah himself said, blessed are the peacemakers. Okay. And uh, <laughs> real quick, man, just, uh, speaking upon blessed are the peacemakers, man, because I'm watching uh, Wu-Tang. I'm watching Wu-Tang, man. Yo, it's, it's a hell of a story, man. With uh, uh, Ray Kwan and, and uh, Ghostface Killer. How they went from trying to literally kill each other. Raekwon shooting his shooting in his in his in his uh in his building in his windows. They went from trying to kill each other, yo, to that's my right hand man doing like a whole album together. Like what? Are we looking at that like wow? And and uh, yeah, they, they they show that in that in that TV show, man. Like I just I just seen an episode in the intro. They brought it back to Raekwon was shooting at his building. And then in the intro, they brought it back to him sitting on the couch, chilling together. You know what I mean? That's dope, man. And, hey, that's that's pleasing to you, Howard Shai. That's pleasing to you, how Bashi Mashai. Because he said, bless, now that's not, not to mean that, you know, they have the whole full act or anything like that. Just because of that little scenario. But a scenario like that is just a beautiful thing, man. You know, blessed are the peacemakers. <laughs> you know, and that was a peacemaking situation from from the depths of hell, man. Pretty much. You know, so that was dope. That was dope. But you know, nowadays, man, as things are getting worse, people talking about it's up and it's stuck. You know, people talking about like they'll never be. Little Dirk said, "We'll we'll never go. We'll, we'll never make peace with a, a young NBA young boy." You know, so show you times is getting worse. But anyway, man, peace. Our people is naturally planted to be a peaceful people. So our people is seeking peace and you need the truth. Like, like it says in the book of Galatians, uh, the truth shall set you free. Now, when you're free, you can have peace. But right now, we're not free, but we know that that's coming. So, you know, our people are seeking the truth and they're seeking the peace. When you got when you know the truth, then you ultimately have peace. You know, in the spirit. All right. <laughs> so I so, also like about that, but it says, according as it is written, the most I have given them the spirit of slumber. Eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. OK, so that's why. It's even though it's blatantly plain and blatantly obvious to see that the Lord is not dealing with these other guys like that. Um, They, they still have their following because all of them are blinded. But if that's what I'm saying, if you can see, plan your next stage left, stage left, man. Um, Pray and pray to your boss from our shy. You know, pray that the Lord helps you get, get up, get up out of there. But see, you need your see, you give them too much information, give them your socials and your email address and your, your government name. All that. So um, let me get uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 39, verse 24, as his ways are plain unto the holy. See, so is unto the holy is plain. Everything is plain to see. Make it plain upon table. Like, come on, man. You're going to follow this guy who made fun of the name? Like, first he taught the name, then he made fun of the name. Now he's teaching the name again? With a curveball to say that you can call whatever you want? Nah, man. You know that's, that, that's something ain't right there, man. And then he's trying to tell you that the, that the uh, Mark of the Beast ain't the... Uh, ain't the chip? Nah, man. But see, that's when that's when it's gonna go down. Like Apostle Tar always say, 
That's just going to shake things up. Because that's when it's like, all right. Now it's the, uh, 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 the side. You've been putting it off. You've been putting it off. You've been putting it off. Because the, the, the scriptures say what? If it was possible, um, you'd be able to see the very elect. All right, let me let me get that matter of fact so I don't butcher it. So you ain't gonna be able to deceive the light. Uh Matthew 24 and 24. For there shall arise false messiahs, false anointed ones, thinking that they're anointed by the Lord. <laughs> Think that they're teaching on behalf of the Lord, but they're doing it falsely. It says, and false prophets. Yep. Teaching wrong uh, prophecies. It says, and shall show great signs and wonders. Yeah, because you even got weirdos out there, man. I think there was the guy that was walking on water. It says, and so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. See? So you're not going to be able to deceive the elect. You're not going to be able to tell the elect, oh, don't worry about it. Go ahead and take the uh, uh, chick. No. Nah. No, nah, man. So that's when things is going to, like Apostle Tar says, it's going to get sh shooken up, man. Tremendously. You know? So let me go back. Ecclesiastes 39, 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. See? So you have stumbling blocks to the wicked so that they don't pick up on what's so plain. So what's some of the stumbling blocks? Oh, GMS. They a bunch of uh, grapists and, and and pedos. Oh, they do this with little girls and this. And, I, and, I, and, I, and that's a lie, man. So now you don't want to hear that nothing that, that, that we have to say. Can't even bear to hear to hear us. Look at us in disdain. But you fell for that goofy, stupid stumbling block. And now the Lord got you continuing to listen into um, men that, that he's not even dealing with. And now the Lord got you falling into false, false prophecies, man, that they're spewing out. You know, in that in that aspect. So. Yeah, man, that's pretty much it. You know, just uh, if you can see it, man, pray, man, pray to, to 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 get up out there, man. Pray to be humble. You know, cause you take that mo to the tb that c hit, your ass is grass. Ain't no oh Lord have mercy. There's nothing you can do. Might as well take a uh, <laughs> might as well take a ratchet and just hey. Cause there's nothing you could do if you take that mo to the, if you take that c hit, man. Low one was edifying. With that, I'm gonna say shalom.